Also this noon, the ousted Fort Lauderdale police chief is now speaking out after he was fired from the force. Seven's Brandon Byers live in Fort Lauderdale with what he had to say. Brandon? Well, Alex, the former chief of police says he was fired for doing the very thing he says he was brought here to do, and he says he's not going away without a fight. Former Fort Lauderdale Chief of Police Larry Scarato says all legal options are on the table after he was fired from the force last week. He says he was hired to make the police department more inclusive and diverse and that he was fired for doing just that. I promoted 15 people uh, to executive level positions within the organization from August to November and 15 of the, the 15, nine of them were white males and six of them were either gender or ethnic minorities. Uh, in each of those promotions, it wasn't based on any protected class or immutable trait. It was based on their qualifications. Every one of those candidates that were promoted were extremely qualified. Those that were not selected were not nearly as qualified and in some instances had history that would preclude them from promotion. The city said last week the former chief was fired after complaints which led to an investigation. We strive to be diverse in our organization. We strive to represent the community that we serve. There's just certain lawful ways to uh, allow that diversity to happen. And in this case, the investigative report indicated we didn't quite follow the law. More to come on this one. This could be a lengthy battle. We did reach out to the city to get their response. They say due to the fact that there could be some pending litigation in the future. No comment for now. We're live in Fort Lauderdale. Brandon Byer, 7 News.